Hey guys, <clears throat> I'm gonna try to go through real quick. We're sending another one home today. Uh, this is a 2017 TRD Pro, and it's a real good uh, opportunity to see uh, a real nice stage one. Uh, this one turned out great. We're running a 35 on this, so I'll get started front to back like we normally do and kind of go over this. 2017 TRD Pro cement gray. <clears throat> just a kind of really clean, really just functional build. We're running the, the King coilover up front, mid-travel. It's kind of a light front end on this truck because we're not running a winch. It's more for uh, a stout bumper and, and placement for lighting. This truck actually drove from Alaska to Connecticut and then from Connecticut came here to get built. And now we're shipping it back to Connecticut. So uh, this truck definitely gets definitely gets driven. It's um, running, uh, since it's so light in the front, we're running a 700 pound spring on the coilover with the Total Chaos upper control arm. With the proper amount of body trimming, the, the uh, body mount chop the way we normally do it, boxing that in, uh, dressing a, a pinch seam in there, we can clear a 35, 12, 50, 17 real easy. This is the Toyo MT and the Method Race Wheels new 701 uh, Trail Series wheel. Just a really super clean look to it. Of course, it's not clean right now because it just snowed on us while we're breaking the new gears in. So, but. Uh, Kind of starting from the front here, we're working with a ADD, Addictive Desert Designs, front bumper, Stealth Fighter Series, front bumper, probably one of my favorite uh, uh, third gen Tundra front bumpers, super low profile. Uh, you've got a good recovery point here for a three quarter inch shackle. This one is winch ready. We can throw a winch in here if we want to. Uh, we did a couple little custom things. This plate that closes in this corner here is just a solid plate now, rather than it being you can mount a light in here. They designed this to mount lights in here, but uh, we just kind of made a nice solid plate for that. Um, still running the sway bars on this since it's a stage one, we're still factory width. So everything is still functioning like it would factory uh, with the exception of obviously the King coilover, remote reservoir with a uh, valve adjuster on there. We're running about two inches of lift, I think here in the front, it, what it equates to in the suspension. And in the engine compartment, we'll go ahead and pop the hood here and kind of just get into that a little bit as we're moving back. Nothing super fancy. The engine is completely stock. Some of the things that we did, uh, we like to do, uh, if we're running lockers in a truck, we're running the ARB, the, smaller, the smallest ARB compressor specifically for running lockers and that's its only job. Uh, onboard air here, this truck has the floating airbag set up in it. So we do run the Viair 100% duty cycle compressor for running uh, working air into the volume tank, uh, air, air for uh, airing up and airing down your tires, uh, blowing dust off of stuff, a little blow gun if you need to. It's all working air. We kind of try to keep those separate. For uh, you know light management, switch management, the LP9s come, we get these sent to us from Baja Designs with its own harness because it's a three position switch. You've got a high and a low beam on these. So the first, the low beam is the first three diodes on the bottom, high beam is all of them. Um, and there's nine, you know, it's the LP9. These are incredible lights. They, uh, all of these have uh, lights on the sides here that put out a really nice wide beam. So you can see what's off to the sides of the road, down the road. But the cool thing about this, rather than running a light bar, is you can aim these wherever you want. Let's say if you want the center wants to shine a little bit closer to the ground down out down the road, that you can have the outside two shine up a little higher, a little further out. You can adjust them pretty much infinitely however you want them to, to, to be pointed. So that's the kind of the one thing we found real nice about the LP9 or the, the single standalone light on, on bumpers or even on the roof for that matter. Moving back to the intro part in here, we've got the S-Pod that we like to use. This one is the SEHD. If, uh, if you have an issue with a fuse or something like that, everything is right here. You can just pop these loose and lift, lift it off and access, access where your, where your pre-designated switches are at. And really, really clean, easy setup. The, uh, and that's it, I mean, that's it for the engine compartment. Really nothing, nothing too special in here. Kind of moving on back. The uh, amount of lift in the back on these, the spring rate's gonna be higher than stock, obviously, because, I mean, it's, you know, spring rates on the stock truck is good for a completely empty truck, and these trucks are really 
hardly ever completely empty. This truck does haul a trailer um, quite often, so we went with kind of a simple rear bumper. We're running the ADD Stealth Fighter bumper in the rear. It incorporated the Baja Designs S2 Pro flush mount in the rear. It's a, it's a very wide beam pattern back here, so with the camera being in the factory location, this, you kind of already have your backup light still in the tail light, but then you can hit that switch and it lights everything up really nice back here. Um, incorporating the factory tow hitch, receiver hitch under the, on the frame. This bumper kind of fits nicely over that. Recovery points on the rear bumper as well for a three quarter inch shackle. The lift height, going back to that, is about, try to only really lift the back of these trucks around one inch. Um, we go anywhere from one to one and three quarter inches of lift. Depending on what the spring rate is too, it, it kind of yields a little slightly different lift height. But as you can see, this truck's sitting almost perfectly level as it sits right now. So anytime there's a, any kind of weight in the bed or the trailer or anything like that, the onboard air is charging the volume tank under the bed. We mount that under the bed, two and a half gallon by air tank. And you can change that pressure from inside the cab. So you can, the air floating airbag set up on this is really nice because you can still get full articulation out of the, out of the suspension. And we're running the, the King remote reservoir shock in the back. We're running the 12 inch travel King shocks for the adjuster. Alcan leaf springs, progressive right leaf spring, can still sprung over. Um, let's see, we're running a 456 gear in this truck and ARB lockers. And it's just a locker in the rear for this one. Really, he really didn't see a need for a locker up front for this particular setup. Um, I know you guys, a lot, a lot of folks have commented on the, the sliders or the steps for the truck. I think he actually got those with the truck before. Uh, I think he might actually have a, a different plan for those. But, you know, when you build a truck like this, sometimes you have this step, you know, sometimes these trucks come with a step that sticks down and uh, it, can, it can affect your breakover angle. But it's doing the trick right now. It can be changed later. Uh, going into the truck, kind of simple too. Um, light switch placement. Your three position lights for the LP9s are right here. So it's... Uh, up is high beam, down is low beam. Easy to get to, kind of out of the way. Even when they're on, you don't really see the light, the running light. And we ha are running the SEHD S-Pod is mounted up in the sunglasses holder. Nice, you know, eight switch panel. Plenty of room for spares, things like that. For the airbags, to adjust the airbags, it's in, we put, put this in the console. So you can just reach down, you can see what your air pressure is in the, uh, in the air tank. And then you can bring your airbags up and then you can purge the air out like that. Just to just push it down and then you're, you're good to go. Kind of use it and leave it. Uh, we uh, kind of changed out a brake controller on this one. Nice little console in here for the brake controller in the factory location. <clears throat> really clean setup. Trying to keep the interior of these trucks looking as close to stock as we can. Uh, depending on the amount of electronics that people want to put in there, it, it can sometimes clutter it up, but just trying to keep it fairly simple and user friendly. Kind of easy on the eyes when you're driving, you don't want to have, to have a ton of stuff going on. Um, that is pretty much it for this truck. The spare tire will be in the bed. Uh, nice, just perfect example of a clean stage one, you know, 35s. This thing cruises so nice. We all we also calibrate the speedometers as well. So even if it's running a 33 and the speedometer isn't correct, we calibrate that in here through Hypertech and it changes your shift points and everything like that. It makes all that really, really correct and, and, and accurate. So speed's correct, odometer's correct, shift points are correct for the tire size. And that's, that's kind of nice to have. Um, that's about it. Um, we're gonna get try and get this out here pretty soon. This truck's going home. It's supposed to be today, but uh, keep an eye on it uh, for it on uh, on Instagram uh, at TAV LLC. Uh, this this will be up on YouTube. Tactical Application Vehicles on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe and uh, kind of pass it on. Hope uh, you guys are finding some info out of these, and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks a lot.